Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Energy Healing Tarot 123. It's your girl Empress Jen here to drop some jewels. This is going to be a love and light reading for the month of July. Pretty much this reading is designed to show you what was going on in July and what you need to carry on moving forward with August, you know, just some um, good solid energy here. So this will be for Virgo, all placements. General message may not resonate. Hit that thumbs up button either way. Comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit that bell button. Follow me over to those social media platforms. Personals are open. Information is below. So we have our Love and Light Oracle. We got our little angels that going on. Angel answers. And we have some wild offering. So let's just get into this. All right, Virgo? So I was really picking up that a lot of you guys, you know, were having cycles closing out for you. For the month of July and um, a lot of you found yourselves in a hangman position of it's like learning a lesson and knowing what you need to do but whether or not you are going to see that the universe was working in your favor and if you were going to work with the universe or against the universe so now we'll look down and see what fell out make the best of every situation with God everything is possible Matthew 19 26 so, yeah, um, things may have not turned out the way that some of you guys expected, but understand that it is happening for a reason, okay? And with that, let love light the way. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. Deuteronomy 31.8, okay? So... And like I said, it's just that feeling of, you know, shit just didn't go your way. It's up to you. It's up to you how you want to look at the situation. You can look at it as, you know, a lesson, blessing, or, you know, like you got screwed over. But I feel the energy of, you know, it, it, the universe just really was stepping in for you guys. You know, for a lot of you, it, you've probably seen it as like, yes, I dodged some major bullets. This is like a major come up for me so let's see what your message is from the angel's deck virgo's love and light mm. cars are sticking for you guys here let's see virgo huh. We ain't, we flying too, sticking and flying, hold up guys. All right, so the message you guys got out here is forgiveness, okay? Um, could be dealing with uh, Leo energy, I believe they got this as an underline. But um, yeah, like I said, and this is really feeling the energy of things not going as you planned and needing to forgive yourself, forgive others, forgive the situation. So that way you can, again, like I was telling Leo, do it for yourself so that you can feel better. The forgiveness isn't always for the other person. It's so that you can move on peacefully, okay? The way to make the best of this situation, every situation, is just to forgive those and forgive yourself and the roles that you guys played and move on. So you're ready, okay? Like I said, a lot of you guys realize the lessons and the blessings and closing out those cycles, allowing the universe to take control, you know, seeing that it was time to what? Clear all these delays and blockages here with this princess of swords. So let's see, what's the message? For Virgo, love and light. What's the message? Yeah, and as you forgive, you will realize, you know, as whatever deep, dark emotions that you have on you regarding the situation, that um, you'll realize that, you'll just realize that it was like for the best for you. Like you'll, that forgiveness, just forgiving and understanding, seeing what the lessons were. You know, with this passion, you know, passionate drive, that desire, definitely going for it and doing it. You know, paired with this two of swords here, being at a crossroads, going back and forth, you know, about how to view this situation. Look, if it is being removed from your life, let it be removed, okay? Like, God does not make mistakes. He sees that it's not good for you. Forgive and move on, okay? 
make that decision. This is where you need to choose the peace, as in this card says here. You need to learn to want to choose that peace. In the forgiveness, you will find that peace, okay? Your while offering, divine timing, okay? So let's see the message for Virgo. Love and light. Virgo, love and light. All right, what do we get here? So, Virgo, first, oh, you guys got four messages here. Let's pick them up in a row. This definitely has to do with a relationship here. Um... Yeah, just a relationship. I'm feeling definitely more on a romantic level. Someone that you probably felt invested with or, you know, invested in, you know, just closing out those type of cycles there. Okay, so the first card out is self-love. Show me how to love myself. Show me how to take care of the inner child. Show me how to be kind within. When you step into self-forgiveness, so much can change on the outside. Okay, and that's choosing that peace and self-love. Doubt. Offering all to the divine doesn't mean negativity never arises, but you can say, free me from this prison of doubt. I cast this burden to you. Show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence, as confidence is your next card that rolls out. We'll read that before I give a spiel. Divine confidence is completely different from the bravado of the ego. You make space for something larger to take hold. Please fill me with your confidence, O oh love. Grant me courage I never knew I had. So do forgive, you know. Do not feel that the divine and the most high made a mistake in not giving you something that you probably were trying to manifest into your life. It wasn't for you, okay? Forgive and move on. Enjoyment. Striving and pushing makes life into endless hard work. The more you're inviting love to take over, the more enjoyment comes. Allow me to enjoy this life, dear Lord. Okay? So let love light the way. That holds very strong with that. That and your underlying message of love. It's not about finding love. You are love itself. Help me, Lord, to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that I always remember. I, myself, am love. Self-love and forgiveness brings you peace. Understand if you've prayed and manifested the best for yourself in the removal of things that no longer serve you. The divine has heard your cries and has taken care of that for you. Now it's up to you, Virgo, to continue on your journey and allow those things to fade and make the best of every situation. Until we talk again in August, peace out.